We all are vaguely aware that literacy is at the heart of an intellectual inner life. But what we don't understand is that prior to the First World War, literacy commonly was divided into passive literacy, reading, and active literacy, speaking and writing. And none of us are aware that in colonial days to teach active literacy to ordinary people was a crime. Why? Because reading, you're locked in your own head and you still have the benefit of being able to read the boss's instructions about what to do. But if you can speak well, as our current president can, or write well, you can reach way beyond your own skull and recruit allies. That's a no-no for ordinary people. They're supposed to be so inarticulate, or their writing will look so funny with ink blots and things in it that no one treats them seriously. So strong competencies in the act of literacies are at the core of elite private boarding schools like Groton, St. Paul's, Choate, Lawrenceville, Gunnery, Hotchkiss, and each one of those schools, by the way, has some legendary tycoon as a patron, or sometimes more than one. Canton, Connecticut is J.P. Morgan's baby.